In this video, you'll learn how to create this clean line reveal animation, step by step, inside DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's kick things off by switching over to the Effects tab. Once you're there, under Effects, go ahead and drag a Fusion Composition right into your timeline. Then, let's jump into the Fusion page itself. First thing in Fusion, add a background node and immediately connect it to the media out. I get asked many times how I make my nodes look so tidy and organized in Fusion. So, to do that, all you have to do is right-click in the empty workspace, and from the Arrange Tools menu, choose to Grid. Then, press again right-click, go down to Options. If you see Orthogonal Pipes, choose that. That'll snap everything neatly. Okay, now to continue with the actual effect, drag another background node into the workspace. Take the output of this new background and connect the output into the output of the first background node. That'll create a merge node for us. Also, drag a rectangle mask into the workspace and connect it to the mask input of our new background. Next up, let's change the color of our background to white. Now, let's adjust the shape of our rectangle mask. So, for what I'm going for, I want to make the height a pretty high number, making it tall. And then I want to decrease the width. But you can totally make your shape however you want here. Maybe you want to add some rotation? It's up to you. Anyway, for the animation, go to frame 0. On the rectangle mask, change the value of center X to slide it off screen, making sure the line is completely outside the frame, and set a keyframe. Then, go forward to the 1 second mark and return the value of center X to 0.5 to put it right back in the middle of the screen. While you're still at the 1 second mark, put a keyframe for the width parameter on the rectangle mask. Then, go forward another second to the 2 second mark and increase the width value all the way to 1 so it fills the screen horizontally. Okay, now all we have to do is open up the spline editor. Select all the keyframes we just made. You can do that by pressing Ctrl plus A. Then, press S to smooth them out. Now, to make the animation start fast, I will move the start point of the X position animation to a higher value, making a steeper curve. Or an easier way, you can just right-click, go to the Ease section, and choose something like Out Cubic. So now we have our line animation. To add the text, I'm I actually going to do that back on the edit page timeline. This way, you can easily reuse this effect many times with different text without having to dive back into the Fusion page every single time. So switch back to the Edit tab. Under the Titles tab in your effects library, drag a text plus clip onto the timeline and make sure to put it on a track underneath the Fusion composition. Then select your Fusion composition clip on the timeline and in the inspect, change the compos composite mode to difference. This is a really important step, so the animation depends on this step. So let's continue. Now, on that text plus clip, you just need to change the text. I'll write my channel name here, and hey, you can support me by pressing that red button right under this video. I mean, subscribe now, wink, and of course, go ahead and change the font as you like. And for a little advanced tip, return to the Fusion tab, select your Rectangle Mask node again, and swap over to its Settings tab, where we want to enable Motion Blur to make the fast movement look smoother. And for me, I actually want to make the animation even a bit faster and snappier. So I'll open the Spline Editor again for those Rectangle Mask keyframes, and adjust the graph as I like. You can try to copy my graph if you want, or experiment to get the feel you're after, and that's it. What do you think of this effect and maybe this new series style? Let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.